Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins. In this video, you will learn how to acquire TypeScript. Depending on your background or how currently your configuration is, you may go one way or another. If you are strongly invested in the Microsoft infrastructure, you can opt to use TypeScript with a Visual Studio extension or through NuGet. NuGet is the preferred way if you are in the Microsoft ecosystem, since it is the official package manager. However, if you are in the Microsoft ecosystem in a situation that you cannot rely on NuGet, the extension to Visual Studio will let you handle TypeScript. In this course, we do not go into more detail about Microsoft's way to acquire TypeScript, mostly because it is an unpopular approach for people working with TypeScript even in the boundary of .NET and Microsoft. Most JavaScript developers use another package manager named NPM. It is the de facto package manager to acquire external third-party libraries and frameworks. TypeScript is available in NPM. Why should you use NPM? Because all other packages that you will use or package that will give you more types for free are in NPM. This is true for JavaScript and TypeScript. NPM is unavoidable and it is installed automatically when you're installing Node.js that we will discuss in detail in another episode. However, it is also possible to not use NPM and use a Babel plugin. The option of Babel is interesting if you are already using Babel.js to modify your JavaScript. Babel is often used to modify JavaScript by borrowing features not yet available. Similar to the TypeScript transpiler that converts TypeScript into specific version of ECMAScript. Babel can transform JavaScript to specific features of ECMAScript. Hence, if you are using Babel, it can be frictionless to have during that process TypeScript being converted into JavaScript. That being said, TypeScript performs the transpilation and might save you to employ Babel. Also, Developer who use Babel relies on NPM to get libraries. As a suggestion, if you are starting a new project, you can use NPM and move forward. It reduces your environment of one tool and you will have the same end result. If you are interested to know more about Babel, in a later episode, you will have the chance to borrow a path for a JavaScript developer that wants to learn TypeScript, which has a lesson on Babel. To recapitulate, you can use Visual Studio with NuGet or an extension. Or, if you are using Babel, download a plugin. And finally, you can use TypeScript package available in NPM. So, here we are again. We are at a fork where you need to make a decision. Are you going to turn left or are you going to go right? Remember that any path is a good path since it is your path. Would you like to get started with learning TypeScript? Or you would like to get further information on how to install TypeScript with NPM, which will give you information about Node.js as well. Regardless of your choice, it was the right one, because it was your choice. See you soon.